Hey everyone, and welcome back to Evo Land. As you may remember from the last episode, we got a very serious graphical upgrade. Hmm. And then Sploot stabbed Fina and Flumpf. Hmm. Hello? Well, what the heck were you doing here? You weren't taking advantage of my being... Really? Oh, she's so much cuter in three dimensions. Where are we, anyway? The Magilith? It activated when the sorcerer destroyed it. It means we're back home. Well, I hope. I had this strange feeling of volume. Just like that day I ate too much chocolate, but without the stomach ache. Don't you have the same feeling, Sploot? No. I promise I've been too busy lately to eat any. Chocolate, that is, not Sploot's. Anyway, enough about this chocolate mousse thing. Mouse. I never understood the spelling of that. Where does it come from? That Magilith will no longer work. And Flump is totally dead. Except he looks awesome and muscular and super awesome. Did I say awesome yet? Mm. Oh, he ain't got no nose. Wherever the sorcerer is gone. And my son, how is he? Ah, probably dead. Flump. Actually, it's a bit complicated. Where should I begin? What do you mean, complicated? They're all dead, is that it? Well, hold on, let me explain. This isn't gonna be easy. We're... We're not in the same time as before. Sploot and me come from the present. I mean, for you, it's the future. But to us, your present is our past. I'm not sure I'm being very clear. Totally. You guys follow it? I followed it. I did not understand a thing. They are all dead. Is that what you are trying to tell me? In a way, yes. Or maybe they're just older. Hmm. I refuse to continue this conversation. I must find my son and save my father. Well, that helps no one. I think I'm going to need a new approach. We can't leave him alone, Sploot. Yay, how fun. Whoa, who's that? Flumph? Flumph. In the year 950 of our lord, here were the demons vanquished, vanquished by Emperor Lothair and his troops. The inscription on this statue. How is this possible? That's what I was trying to explain, Flumph. If only you listened and got the flump out of your ears. The Magilith, we traveled through time. Sploot and I come from year 999, almost 50 years after the demons were defeated. An accident led us to your time and the Empire captured us. And when the Great Magus destroyed the Magilith, something came out of it. I think that thing brought us here. I really wish we'd returned home, but I get the feeling we're in a different time period. All of this seems impossible. And yet, this statue. But why? Why is the meaning of our lives if... What is the meaning of our lives if everything is already written? Whoa, 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 we're getting way too deep. I can't deal with this. I don't understand it much myself. But look at Sploot. <laughs> His name just really hit me on this. Just look at Sploot. <laughs> he continues to fight no matter what. At first, I was terrified at the thought of being lost. But while following Sploot, I began to understand. Life is just right now, this very moment, wherever you happen to be. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I don't know if the past has already happened, or if the future can be changed. But I know I exist right here, right now. This is getting way too deep. But I like it. It's just me in the here and now. And Sploot is the one who made me realize that. So, <laughs> so I'm not afraid anymore. Although rats and mushrooms still do it, of course. I am not convinced. My people have been conquered. And I shouldn't be here. My son, what has become of him? Instead of asking ourselves all these questions, we'd be better off looking for another Magilith. If we were able to go back into the past, then you should be able to return to your own time. Let's focus on that, instead of dwelling on questions we can't answer. 
Hey, don't I sound like an adult sploot? He 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 he. Five. Five laughs. That's as much as she gets. I don't know if I can be as strong as Solid Snail or Ms. Fina, but I'll do my best. Okay. I guess the only option is, is to check out the camp. The camp is gone. To the future! Oh, there's a camp here. Touch it. Touch it with your face. BB's tent. Oh, my BB. I want some of this, though. Ah, what a fine young man you are. Folks call me Granny BB, but I've got the heart of a young woman. Besides, I'm not really that old. So anyways, feel free to invite me out some evening. We could go out for some potions. Maybe more if you feel a spark. Hey, speaking of potions, what can I do for you, darling? Wake an ally? Uh-oh. I hope you brought me the good stuff, my sweet gum- Don't call me your gummy bear, that's weird. Granny BB is gonna fix you a real nice potion. A red potion restores your HP. All of it? Holy crap. You're pretty li- Ugh. What does green group do? Half your HP. Okay. I can- I can live with this. I'm just gonna get these potions- I only carry a single potion of the same type, my fallen angel. My BFG 9000. What? Can I give you gravity, Granny? Can I jump anymore? She called me something else weird. That's interesting. Is there anything over here? Oh, I love the map. Look at the little poofy clouds. Oh. Oh. We're going on the bridge now. Hmm. I reject. Yeah. Oh, he's angry. He's very angry. Oh, I missed one. Yeah. Squirrel. Oh, this is gonna be a lot different, though. Like, this is gonna be easier to get lost. In my opinion. Because, like, you can't see as much in this perspective. So it, it's interesting to see the different challenges that this, that this adds. Like, I could just exploring it totally just, like, turned around. Whereas in the older perspective, it's just like, oh, I need to go here. Okay, I guess this guy's spiked now. Great. Good. I'm glad they have new powers. I'll deal with that. Oh, the rock is in here. Hi there. It's not often you see somebody on this side of the bridge. He used to call this Mayan Bridge, but a hundred years ago, a boulder fell and blocked it. No one's ever been able to remove it. Then again, since the war ended, people don't really come out to Demonia anymore. Anyway, I doubt any human will ever break that boulder. Good thing I know a demon. Break it, Flumph. I do not think I have the strength to break this boulder for now. Do you think that, Flumph? Well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very disappointed to hear that. Um, okay. I mean, I don't think there's any other way to go. There's nothing this way. No, I guess we'll leave. Huh. I guess we'll have to upgrade Flump. Just need a better Flump. If I had a nickel. Can I go in here? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yes. The Haunted Four. Hey. I'm gonna give all the humans that are like this the same voice. If you bump into the boss, don't judge him by his appearance. Some people call him a monster, but that's because they don't know him. And anyway, he takes good care of us. Without him, we'd just be run of the mill thieves. Mm hmm. Ah, a new recruit. Don't you worry, this job is real easy. We just find stuff that's banned in the capital and resell it to the people who want it. It's not too dangerous, as long as you don't get caught by the militia, of course. Stab. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that grass. Take that nature. What do you do? 
I used to live in Genova. My dream was to become a trader. But I quickly learned that only traders' sons become traders. So then I came here. When you think about it, our work is kind of like what traders do. I don't think I need to talk to the rest of you. You're all very boring. You seem important, though. The boss grew up here, so he's very attached. No, you're not important. Ghosts? No, ghosts don't exist. Yeah, well, if you went to the past, you would know. Well, that looks important. I bet there's something super cool in here for Flumph. Alright, and with this save point, we're going to stop here for now, boys and girls. So, if you like this series, go ahead and leave a like for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you have any feedback, if there's things you want to see more, if you want me to stop doing weird voices or anything, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I won't know unless you tell me. If you think this video is awesome, go ahead and share it with a friend. That's how our community grows, and I definitely need help doing that. And if you like this video enough for yourself, feel free to subscribe. But no matter what you do, I appreciate that you're here at all, and I hope to see you very soon. Bye.